Interesting. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Slippy and Thrifty Show. Hi. Hello. I'm Thrifty. This over here. Oh, I'm tired. Is Slippy. Hi, Slippy. Hello, John. How are you? How are you doing? I'm tired. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. Legitimately. Uh, I'm jet lagged. How are you? Yeah. How long? How long has it been since rough. you got back? Just over a day. Just over a day. You touched down about six thirty on f Saturday morning. Friday morning. That's probably been about. Well, it's probably been about two days now, but I'm not. There's not been much sleep going on. So your math calculations are being in inhibited yeah, by my, your. Yeah, my, my whole brain function, put it this way, is nearly non-existent. Right. <clears throat> I'm struggling to understand what time of day it is. And I'm struggling to understand why you wore that shirt. Because boys get sad too. Are you in touch with your emotions? I'm, yes, always. I think it's gotten maybe three shades darker since we started uh, about 20 minutes ago getting ready for this. Oh, I might, is it getting dark here? You might need to click on a vampire purple light. All right, let me let, let me just vamp up real real quick. Let's Talk amongst like, yourselves. You can look like the count. Well, I untangle this with long wire from a light. Talk amongst yourselves. The topic is why John's so mean to me. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out why this guy's so mean to me. This guy right here. <laughs> I do and do for this fellow. And this is the kind of thanks I get. Oh. Right. How, how are we looking with that? Is that better? Yeah, not too bad. A little more ghosty white. Yeah, not too bad. This is what you're dealing with. This is the color you're going to have. So if none of you like it, it's tough. All right, let's do roll call. What we got Go in on. here? Go for it. All right, so Angelo was in this morning. Let's see if he's, I think he still is. Gaz FM, how you doing, Gaz? Tony, yes, indeed. <laughs> Excuse me, Pepper Dingo. Good to see you, Pepper. Uh, my good buddy, Tobacco Ridge, always good to have you in here. James Alton, big fan of the show. Always good to see you, James. And who else we got? Randy, our moderator. Hello, my moderator. Hope you're doing well, Randy. Good to see you. Always appreciate your We have your the help. wild gadget Gus who's arrived. All right. Gadget Gus. Sean from across the pond. Uh, who else we got? Baxter's Blades. Andrew, how you doing, guys? I hear TK is hiring. Yeah, I'm going to be adding a, a another partner. Because uh, this guy's this guy's slipping up. <laughs> I'm irreplaceable. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Eric Starr, how you doing, Eric? With your tape measure, slip joint Sawyer. Who's that guy? I don't know. Oh no, we've been infected by um, an Andy Armstrong too. Hello, Andy. Have we? Andy seen the uh, thumbnail and decided, yeah. hey, better, better get in that quick. We better get in here. We got midnight crisis. We've got Elon. How you doing, Elon? Good to see you, buddy. Frank Alivo. King Mills. King Mills the third says they need a thrifty Kniffy sticker. I'm sure you can do that. Sort that out. Yeah, just send me an email at to thriftykniffy at gmail dot com and I'll get one out to you. Uh, yeah, address, Tobacco's please. got a good point. He says free Nola Chuckies for everyone in the chat. That sounds good. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> don't ask that of Andy. That's not nice. <laughs> And he's trying to run a business over there, buddy. Midnight Crisis. Uh, who else did I not see? I think I've gotten everybody so far. Six Gun Slinging. How you doing, Six Gun? Uh, we've 100% missed people. I can't even keep up with the chat. King Mills the Third. Hello, King. What's up, fellas? We got Michael Morgan. How you doing, Michael? Mimo. Tyler Gibson. Good to see you, Tyler. We got uh, Gadget Gus, L Cap Addict, and I'm me. Hello, fellas. Dude. Hello, I'm you, or I'm me. And how have I missed Andy? Where is this comment? Oh, am I on? Yeah, let me see this. 
I don't know. I must have missed it. Where was it? Uh, way up now. They've just been kicking way off since. Way up now, huh? All right. Well, hello, Andy. But, yeah, yeah we're just going to talk about some... Uh... Go ahead. Sorry. Which shop in New Zealand for the climber? Um, weirdly, I'm not trying to sound like an ass. It's literally called Knife Shop. That's the literal name of the shop is Knife Shop. Yeah. It's called Knife Shop. Was it in a mall or it looked like it was maybe in a mall or something? No, it was in uh, Toronga. You just give me a city. Yes. Do you not know what a mall is? It's it's not in a mall. Okay. It's an it's his own standalone store. Okay. Hello, so we Paddy. Got El Cheeto Loco as well. So another name change. Got to love that. And that's my Paddy. favorite one, I think. El Cheeto Loco. That's a good one. I like that one a lot too. Yeah. Why am I not seeing all the chats? Have you got it set to live chat, or have you got yes, it set I do. to just top 100%. chat? Hundred percent. I don't see Patty in here either. John's having a senior. I don't moment. know. I'm having issues with my uh, feed, not showing everything. So you may have to take care of the numbers this week. That's fine. That is fine. Are we going to do a giveaway? Conspiracy. Yeah, of course we are. Right. Judd's here too. Judgeder. There, I see Judd. I'm here. The life. Yeah. I saw that one. Well, he has to announce he's here, but no one will see him. No, I've seen Rosecraft. It's a conspiracy. Conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy. Yeah. So, all right, tell us about your trip. I mean, I want to hear about it. Uh, basically, I didn't want to come back. The UK sucks. The UK is, is total garbage compared to New Zealand. Um, All right. Let's start from the beginning. So you, you left. I spent 30 you take hours. take a flight. Traveling. And where, where's yeah. the flight going? Tell us how that Auckland. works. Uh, Heathrow to Auckland. At the changeover in Doha, which is in Qatar. So you got um, to go to Qatar in the Middle East. Yes. Is it Qatar or Qatar? Qatar. How do they, Qatar. How do they pronounce it? Qatar. Qatar, okay. I always thought it was Qatar, but other than it, other people were saying it was Qatar. That's because you're from America. Oh, I wanted to check with the chat. Is my uh, audio loud enough? I'm always having problems with that being too low. So if it's too low, let me know. All right, go ahead. Yeah, no, but it was really, it was really good. It's the most relaxed place I've ever been, which suits me down to a T. Um, mid twenties to thirty degrees Celsius all week. Mm -hmm. sunny unlike here which is just well unlike here which is just like this overcast mm -hmm. yeah overcast gray not good but no it was it was excellent and judd's in here i've just seen his comment and i and i drove past hobbiton as well i saw judd's hometown he did mm -hmm. hobbit but Hob yeah <laughs> but andy's got it <laughs> And he's got it, got it right. It is Australia without poisonous animals. All right. Did they have like uh, wallaby or uh, you know any of the? Uh, nope. Jumping creatures. None mm -hmm. of the jumping stuff. There's tiny little bugs. That's about it. All right. Koala bears. Mm, not. Didn't really see any. Uh, but what about kiwi? Just, did you see kiwi? I did see kiwi. Yes. Okay. They're weird, and you have to go out at night to see them. Right. Just as a micronol. <laughs> there you go. Yes, Judd, I drove past. How you doing, Kathleen? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. Um. Yeah. So then, okay, from Qatar, you, you, what what is that like? The flight time. Uh, UK to Qatar was seven hours, and then Qatar oh, to. Auckland was 16. 16 hours on the plane. Yep. Was it jam-packed or was it there's a lot of space? Uh, it was busy-ish. So, so not like percent capacity? Like yeah, about that. Yeah, not rammed, but it was busy. Yeah, were the flight attendants really good? Yeah, the, the long-haul flights when I went to Australia, they are all really good. 
Did they look they, like they were beat down by the tenth hour? No, no, they looked fine. They looked fresh. But they have they have like a couple of hours in the middle of the long flights to sleep, so they do like a, an alternating sort of shift. They rotate, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, Judd, sixteen hours on a plane without a knife, the horror. It was incredibly painful. And I only actually took one knife with me, but I came back with a few. It's honestly the the flight isn't that bad. When when you're going somewhere and you're excited about it, the sixteen hours sort of flies by just watching movies and, you know, whatever's on the plane. But on the right. way back is 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 the killer. Because one, you finished your holiday, two, you're going home and it sucks. Right. So you pretty much just sat there like this the whole flight, just grumpy as hell. Right. Did you watch a movie? Like um, Frank suggests? Yeah, loads of different stuff. Just not even Anything like real good. like nah, nothing that good. Not even paying attention, just for like background noise. Listen to a lot of music. You spent more Look time up. chatting with me than you did watching movies. Pretty much. You could pretty much do anything you wanted on the plane as far as the internet too, right? Yeah, yeah, I had um had Wi Fi on the plane and stuff. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the best, but I was able to use some stuff. The text like and things. I could, were I could fine, watch right? yeah, texting was fine. Watching YouTube videos was a bit buffery every now and then, but a little sketchy. But I mean yeah, but I mean I'm like forty thousand feet in the air. I can't expect that, you know, too much. Right. But no no, it was good. It was it was it was amazing. I would go back in a heartbeat. So you were just kind of Disappointed to leave, huh? Yeah. You're ready to keep saying. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. And what did you pick up while you were over there? Uh, uh, weirdly, John, I bought a knife. <laughs> you did? Yeah. So I, I bought um a New Zealand exclusive. It's uh it's a climber, so one of my favorite patterns, and that's so let me let me stop you a minute. What is, is there the leaf there? Does that oh that's the is there that's the fern. So okay, that's sort of like you know, like national plant sort of thing. The fern. Yeah. Okay. But it's all it's all inlaid on there, so right. they did a great job. And a black climber, right? Oh, always got to be black. Ig ignore how dirty it is; it's being used currently. Black climber, standard. Everything else is standard. Just the you know the, the scale change on the front for the New Zealand on there, but. I couldn't even get it. You can get it sent here, but the postage they want for it is ridiculous. So I was like, well, I better just bring it home with me. Right. But so, the, have, uh, so talk about then a second about the fact that the, uh, that's like an official one because like you got the shield on the back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's an exclusive made just for New Zealand, but right. as exclusives go for countries, it's, Probably one of the classier ones, but you know, you see somewhere they just put like their flag massive over the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of those, but that with a little bit on there, I think is great. A little classier looking. Yeah. yeah. Kiwis yeah. are all blacks on the pitch. That's right, Andy. Yeah, they are. And I did actually go to a, um, so a Maori town. So like an, an active Maori town. So like an, an, like a national person town. And it was, they are huge, like big, just ridiculously huge guys. As you'd expect the rugby team to be, but just they're all like it. It's not built just like a built like an oak tree. Yeah. yeah. Like a bus. Yeah. Just like you would not want to argue with any of them. No. They could just poke you and it would hurt. They they would tear me to shreds. <laughs> this is did Slippy wear black speedos too, asking for a friend, Elon. Um no is that friend Sean, by the way? No, that friend is himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Is that just taking you off your rails? But uh, nah. I, right. I know what Elan's about. The amount of times he's asking me dodgy things in the Discord. I know All his right. game. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know his game. I know what he's about. And Andy, yes, I did. It was fantastic. Tippy and Kihei seemed like an unlikely couple. Well, we're not a couple. We're a couple pairing. Of jack, couple of jackasses. Couple of jackasses. <laughs> uh, did you see the traditional haka? Yes. And it is very intimidating in person. 
you're not quite sure where to look when you're watching it. It's weird. Because it's done as a, it's it's meant to be intimidate intimidating to other teams and things like that and you know, to intimidate enemies. And when they're sort of looking at you and doing it, it's just like, Can you just not stare at me and do it, please? Can you look at the floor or something? <laughs> right. All of you close your eyes and just do it. But it was really good. A studded leather knife power. What is going on? Do I want to know? What have I missed? I don't know. I think this is Turn into the S and M channel, not the S and T. Yeah, it might be time to leave. It might be time to <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> but we Judd's got it right. Uh, black speedos, also known as budgie smugglers, correct. I'm a, I'm a little concerned that he knows that. But I mean, he's a small man. The 58 hey. millimeter smugglers. <laughs> <laughs> the classic SD smugglers. Men of a certain age. <laughs> Men of a certain... Isn't this a knife channel? I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do you eat in speedos? Gaz asks. Uh, prison pocket? <laughs> hmm. That would be one way. I All right. So, should, uh, what, are nice what are we let's looking forward to? What are we looking forward to? Let's move this up quickly. The ball bra. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The slingshot. David versus Goliath, remember? The sling. The sling. What, slinging your budgie smugglers across the room? <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right, so what do we got? We got uh, stuff we're looking forward to. Um, I'd say there's probably, what, about five, six knives really looking yeah, forward to like big ones we're really sort of looking forward to i do have one here which i will show when we come across yeah, let's it. go ahead and break that one out right away huh go on then find locate that okay so this is that's, a new one that's no sense giving away from, the surprise okay it's a new one that recently came out with rosecraft and it's the i can never say the name is it briar patch jack or was that how i saying it right yes. i'm sure andy will tell me i'm saying it wrong no that's correct so it's a equal ended cigar pan Two bladed. The smoky bone on there, which is honestly, this is the best smoky bone I've got on the, the couple of knives I've got with it on. It's done mm -hmm. so well. And Andy, you should be pleased with me. I've been using it and beating it down. Smoky bone from the Smoky Mountains. And my favorite thing about it, the lamb's foot blade. Yeah. Andy, what's this? What is that, Andy? Is that a switch? He's grinning from ear to ear right now. He's going, you damn right it's a switch. <laughs> but, no, it's, it, it's really good. It's awesome. Walk and talk on it's great. Real nice clip point on there. Yeah. I love that you guys are putting some nice little uh, sharpening oils on there, too. Which Yeah. Just one little detail a lot of people yeah. kind of over. That's, that's over one thing I wish I wish Buck would sort of start doing. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's a really great pattern. Anyone that wants one, they'll be at Heine Haynes very soon if you're in the UK. So it's actually a pretty that. beefy uh, clip point now that I'm comparing yeah, it. Yeah, it, it, it is a chunky clip point. Mm -hmm. Of course, the equal-ended... Uh, pattern i think i think he said in the little blurb that i heard that that was one that was so requested he just couldn't ignore it yeah it's a great pattern yeah. and, it's, and it's, it's a it's a big boy i'm going to get it wrong it's it's very close to the uk limit but as i said multiple times before as long as you're not an idiot and waving it around no one's going to notice it in your pocket right but yeah, big fan of this one. I think it's great. Especially the the lamb's foot blade. 
So in, in a round, you don't have the same clip. Yeah, which is which is what we like. You don't want to have every knife with the same yeah. blade on it. It gets a bit tiring, yeah. doesn't it? It does. But no, um, great job on that one. Yeah, I like the I like the fact that it's stone and then yeah, going more to the natural materials too. So, hundred percent. The the like, if there was an option between a natural material or a man-made material for a handle scale, I'd go for the natural every single time. Right. But yeah, he tries to make them all a little different. Mm. But that yeah, that's just a great pattern. Uh, I believe that's the first uh, multi-bladed traditional, right? Or any particular uh, Rosecraft. Isn't that the first multi-plated Rosecraft knife? You are wrong. I am wrong about that. What was the other one? The Doctor's Knife. Well, the surgery oh, yeah. Knife. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. You're 100% correct. Maybe then that's... Is that the first and that, uh, that one the second thing? Can't think yes. of any others. Yes, that's, that's correct. Okay. So there you have it. Second, first double-ended jack, yeah. Okay. All right, so what have we got for the first slide, John? Well, we have to give a little props to old SMKW. They're going to be coming out with this on the 12th, so I'm going to try to pick one of these up. I, I like the fact that uh, it's all Micarta, kind of a change-up from more of your brass stuff. Oh, we just got a... Membership join from Splitting Slices. So, Byron, thank you very much. Says, now we got our dang cigar. That's right. Thanks, RC and AA. There you go. Rosecraft and Annie Armstrong. Thank you so much, Byron. Appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, on the on the 12th, they're going to be releasing one of their build-out specials, 110s. Now, both of us were kind of a little disappointed they didn't, weren't going to make this in a one. 12 right yeah if it was a 112 i'd have you ship me one over straight away but uh it's still pretty nice it's got the thumb stud yeah frank it does scales. come with a thumb stud that's that's on there um for their... what i can tell in looking at the pictures on the site there yeah. looks to be removable the thumb stud so you can you know you can turn it round for lefties if that's what you want to do Oh, is it not the same on both sides? I guess not. No, really. so the other side is flat. And this, you can see this front side here is, you okay. can just make out that it's sort of ridged. If I bring that up full screen, um, I'm not sure how to do that. There sure you, you do. Full screen, you can kind of see the ridges there on the on the thumb stud. Yeah, kind of see it. And then on the back side of that, it's just completely flat. And there is a little circle in the middle. I'm guessing that it's removable, but I haven't read enough to check. Right. So this blade isn't their normal standard clip. Uh, Baxter's blade their... said he's glad it's a 110. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, you know, some some people are looking forward to the 110. So, uh, I don't know. I guess I would have liked an option one way or the other. I've just got so many 110s that I would rather kind of increase my 112 collection. But this has the uh, the modified clip that they used. This isn't their standard one that's a little more aggressive. Uh yeah, it's more of like um, edging kind of towards a spear point or a drop point, isn't it? At that sort of. Yeah. But I mean, it's definitely still a clip, but it's very shallow. Yeah. But this is, you know, the upgraded steel that they typically use. And this is the shape that they use for that, usually. So this has got your S45 VN. But this is only 100 bucks, So I just feel like, you know, for what you're getting, that's a pretty good price. Not bad at all. So. Yeah, 100%. Um, which it's going to be what was uh, Andy said, but uh, brown burlap, yeah, that's definitely brown burlap, 100%. Yeah, brown burlap. So, so that'll be available. Picture, they kind of, it kind of looks like it's smooth, but I would hope that it would be, you know, real like grippy, hard working, sort of, yeah, like probably not, thing. probably not gonna be my experience. Might have just a touch of grip to it, but um, available tomorrow at noon. I think I accidentally said the 12th, no, tomorrow at noon, so. But be, yeah, if I it was a 112, I'd be on it in a heartbeat. I would be as well, but I think I'm still going to get it. Uh, I'll try to anyway, because they may sell it's, pretty it's quick. It's normally, it was, what is it? Is it $99, I think you said it was? Yeah, 99 bucks. Yeah. Good price for that. A special build-out S45 VN, so it's going to last ages. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about it for me, there's no pocket clip. No. There you go. No one wants a pocket clip. Let's talk a moment about 
the big knives. Um, so th these are quite a new one for me. Yeah. I only found out about these through you. Um, they've been around for a little while, though, haven't they? Not ages. Uh, no, uh, Andy, there, is, there is a sheath. There's um, it's is it a nylon sheath, John, with the one ten? I think it's nylon. I didn't look into that. I couldn't tell you. I'd have to go to the website. But I, I imagine they always come with the sheath. So I don't know if it'll be nylon or leather. But yeah, it, it looked like from what I saw, it looked like a nylon. You know, with the Velcro style, oh, like yeah. you know, like a proper working sheath, that sort of stuff. For that price, I would probably guess that might be the case. Yeah. Um. But the bag knives, they've been they've started prototyping these about nine months ago, I wanna say. Yeah. And so they they kind of took their sweet time in the production of these and they uh made sure they got them right. But the one thing that I was a little disappointed in is when they they actually said that when they were doing their you know, modifications or their, you know, the styling or whatever, they decided that uh they wanted to take an approach that they were going to have a lighter pull on them so the pulls on them aren't they're not my ideal yeah they're, they're maybe like about a, a five, five and a half six yeah, five. max if you're being really really right. generous so that would be my one little gripe but other than that they're really well made yeah uh, and one no. thing i do like about them when i was talking about with you before john is the shields are on both sides correct they're a little different yeah I mean, I don't know if that's such a massive deal to me, but uh, I just think it's a nice, it's a nice touch, something different. Yeah. I, I don't know any sort of companies do a double shield on both sides. It's an interesting choice to go with. But they're they're built really well. Yeah, and they're really reasonably priced for what you're getting. Um, this isn't a picture of all of them. There's, I know at least there's, more than yeah. There's way here. more. There's like cleaver ones, isn't there? There's like Tanto-y looking kind of blades. Yeah, they came uh, in basically two different sizes. I want to say a mini and then the standard. Yeah. And... So the standard is like a three-inch blade, and the mini is right. a two point six. I want to say it's maybe closer to two and a quarter. I think it's pretty small. But uh, yeah, we we both have the top left, the Black Widow. No. Yes, we do, don't we? I don't have that. Do you have that? Which one do I have then? I don't know. Oh, well, you have that color. particular styling. But yes, not the Black correct. Widow. Correct. No. Right. But the yeah, that's we have the same sort of one. It's, we both have the drop point. Is it? Or is, is it a drop point or is it a spear? No, they called it a. Uh... Oh yeah, it was the the weird sort of sheep's foot one. Yeah, the they call left it a sheep's there, foot. the Beg Knives BG046 Mini Sheep's Foot. So right. it was that it was that exact one, but you know, different styling. Right. But and they yeah, they I, also I had one called great. a Bullet Train, which was a little. It was pretty interesting because the blade on it was more, I don't know, more Tanto-ish. Yeah. And uh, had like a, a nice groove at the top with like holes in it. it kind of looked like the windows of a bullet train. I think that's why they got they named it what they did. I guess we should have had a picture of that. But yeah, anyway. But uh yeah, they're really well made, you know, kind of the quality you would expect from a Rosecraft maybe. And uh pretty affordable, but the pull. That pull is kind of the one little gripe. I just wish it was a little firmer. Yeah, but anyone's interested, obviously you could see this is from SMKW, the link, the pictures we got here, but Heine Haynes has got them in the UK as well. Um I did order one specially through them, and they did sort of start stocking them after that. So check them out if you like them. And they're pretty reasonably priced as well. I think they're like 50 55 Yeah, that's pretty reasonable priced. All right, so there was the uh, the Briar Patch Jack. More details on it, so it says, if you guys want to read that. The Rosecraft Blades Briar Patch Jack. is bit, Hey, Andy, do you do this uh, copy, or does someone else do it for you? Rosecraft Blades Briar Patch Jack is based on traditional cigar pattern. This two-bladed slip joint features a 3.2-inch D2 clip point blade at one end and a 3.1-inch D2 lamb's foot blade at the other, both with heavy swedging. Imagine that. And half stops. <laughs> There's some error there. A half stops. And half stops. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. And brushed satin finishes. The covers are smoky gray bone with brushed steel bolsters, steel liners, nickel silver pins, and a stainless steel rosebud shield. 
It's four inches closed, 7.2 inches overall. Main blade open. And weighs just 4.2 ounces. That's pretty good. That's pretty hefty, really. Designed by Andy Armstrong. So, yeah, that's a, that's a definite buy at $66. Go pick one up. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great knife. Sim, uh, they're going to be, I think they're sixty four ninety nine at Heine Haynes uh, when, they, when they're dropping. Um, it should be the next sort of week. So if you want to get one, head over there and grab it. But the, yeah, they're, they're definitely they're definitely sort of worth it. They're really well made. Let's just skip over that one for now. Um, all right, so here's the next one that I'm looking forward to from uh, Rosecraft. The Nola no, Chucky. Nola Chucky. Nola Chucky. Um, this one is probably, I, I don't know, maybe I, I, you could argue, but one of the most traditional of all the ones that I've seen them make so far. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it screams old IXL pattern, you know, because it is. It, but, yeah. you could, like, when I look at that shape, I just think of, you know, like old English slip joint. If I go, so if I look for, if I go on Etsy and type in, you know, like, UK legal pocket knife and then type in, um, like vintage, the amount of things that come up that look similar to that, that similar style, spear point blade, nice mm. big handle, it, it just screams like an old English jack. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah, this is one I'm most excited for. So, get the single blade, spear point, as Slippy mentions, the long pole, the swedge, the threaded bolster there, and what kind of material are we using here? We've got vintage brown bone. Vintage brown bone. So, do Ooh. we know what kind of... Uh, they are, they're shipping to dealers this week. They're QCing tomorrow. So, they're very, very close. Oh, they ship to dealers this week. All right. I'm looking forward to that. Me want. We start QC tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, they are uh they are getting real close to release. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is pick this one up and the new Lech or sorry, the uh Briar Patch. And if you do that, you'll have exceeded the price for free shipping and you can get free shipping because I think it starts at what, $85, something like that. Something, something like that, close yeah. to that. Something close to that. So, yeah, if you haven't ordered one, order both. Get them next week. That's what I'm going to do. But, uh, yeah, really looking forward to that one. That one's probably, yeah. that one's going to probably compete if if it's everything I think it is with the uh, the gun stock for yeah. knife of the year, right? Yeah. That one's going to I, I, be I a top really knife. I really like the, the way the bone's done on that. It almost looks like wood grain. Yeah, it does. That's why when I first saw it, I wasn't sure what, what the material was. But yeah, vintage brown bone. So it just really well dyed. Does give that sort of grainish look to it. Like uh, I'm like really enjoying wood. the long pull on it too. I think that looks great. Yeah, it's very classy. Yep. And they they do such a great job of that uh, threading. I like that deep single groove that they put on there. Yep. Fantastic it is, looking. You know, it's so good. Uh, inside the news, the gun stock sold out very fast. We've reordered, and I will have... Ooh. Ooh. Read this. Okay. Some insider news here. Okay, so the gun stock sold out very fast. We've reordered it, and I will have it in the Micarta. And... Genuine stag. There's got to be a price increase for that. Right, Andy. So, what is that one going to run? Surely, I I will pay it. I don't care. <laughs> and and Patty says the Nola Chucky is my favorite RC so far. Congrats, Andy. Yeah, I kind of knew that. It's old in English. and English. Uh, uh, Andy said he doesn't have he doesn't know a price yet, but it will be higher. Yeah. Okay. I figure. Yeah. And <laughs> did I hear stag? Yes. I feel, Andy, this one's going to be very popular with Stag, and it will not have a shield. It will not have a shield. Wow, okay. Yeah, that kind of makes sense with the kind of rough texture to it, right? Can I just 
send you my card details now, Andy, and you just send you one when it's in. <laughs> we'll just give you like permanent access to our credit card. Yeah. Just yeah, just charge me when it's ready. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So I'm I'm guessing then the my Carter one will be the same price as the as it was previously, then that'll stay yeah. and then it'll go up. I would imagine it'd be the same, right? Yeah, everyone's pretty stoked about this. Loads of people saying, take my money. Take my money. Take my money, right? No, Jesse, I'm not sending you my card details. <laughs> all right, oh, so he's had we... the sample and he said it looked amazing. So, yeah, we're all, oh, we're okay. all keen for that. Fantastic. For that. That's awesome. So, as they, guess, uh, they said yes, and damn, the sample looks amazing. Okay. All right, so one from Rough Rider. If we can switch gears a minute. Uh, they've got this ghost fish coming out. And I think this is probably my favorite they've released in quite some time. Um, yeah, a, a couple of the ones previously. Um, I've not been... Uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. Uh, they're ugly. <laughs> that's That's rather rude. But no, I've just not been a fan. They've been really we weirdly styled, and they sort of they went off a, well, they went off Keter a bit with their knives. Like they were doing really well, then they sort yeah. of I don't know had a bit of a fit in the middle, and now they're back with this one. And I like I really yeah. like the look of this ghost fish. Yeah, they lo kind of lost their way a little bit. I think they started doing some of the modern stuff, and we didn't really have them. I never really heard a good explanation for why they decided to do that to go that route, but. Uh... I thought it was just going to be four traditional knives, but apparently not. Uh, and, yeah, some releases that just didn't appeal to me. Um, there was that one that was like a Spanish-style knife. I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head. And uh, a couple others, but this one's not bad. This is almost sort of like a easy open... Uh, sunfish. Yeah, sunfish. So... Pretty interested in that one. So yeah, I'm, I'm on the I'm on that. the fence of this one. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what size blade are we looking at here? Can we pull that up full screen? I don't think it Does says it say on there. there. Yeah, it doesn't say. I but can I find out for you though. I'm pretty sure it's going to be UK legal. So. Uh, so Andy says, "What do you think? Is it a sleeve board or a sunfish?" I'm going to go with sleeve board, you know, because it yeah. looks fatter at one end than the other, doesn't it? Yeah. It is a sleeve board design for sure. Um, but I've seen sunfishes that are sleeve board, so I don't know. You could probably call it either one, right? Gus, how did you like that dragon wing? Because they're, they're some weird ones. So Gus says, I saw Tobias review the ghost fish. Nice overall reviewed their dragon wing recently, which is a step change. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't impressed with the uh, that whole series of the, um, you know, the stuff that was kind of emulating the ghost. Uh, help me. What, what was the TV show? Come on. What? Now? My brain's not working today. Matt, uh, King. What is it? Something. The Game of Thrones. The whole Game of yeah. Thrones thing. Yeah. That was yeah, sort yeah. of the theme of that. So uh, that just wasn't my uh, my jam, but. They had some. It was nice to see some. Yeah, thank you. Game of Game of Thrones. My brain shut off for a minute. Um, it was just nice to see some interesting ch design changes, but they just didn't really hit the mark for me. But I can see where, mm. you know, there's going to be quite a few people that like those. Yeah, they were up trying to do some different stuff, and it just sort of. Mm. Yeah, it was nice that they put the white bone on there. Is oh, my brain ever working? Quite... I mean, you know, in the mornings when we come on Sundays, probably not. Generally, don't start uh, getting into Top Gear until about four o'clock in the afternoon. His brain never works. No, it does. It does. I just have a time hard time with uh, name recall. That is not my uh, forte. Oh, thank goodness the Dragon Wing. Is hollow ground, no depth to it. Okay, I haven't had. Yes, yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a shallow blade on that dragon wing. Yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah, you got to respect the white bone. There's so many things that can go wrong with it. Yeah, I've I've got a 
uh, the marble's work knife, which is basically you know the sod buster. And where it's been sort of oiled, the bone has actually taken on some of that oil, and it's gone dark around the pivot. So there's there's loads of stuff that can go wrong with just yeah, it does that around the pins too. Yeah, yeah, which is a shame because it's a really nice knife. It's just a bit irritating. Yeah, there's a lot. (laughs) I'm an expert jackass wrangler. Yeah, I have to be, don't I? Look, look, look at this guy. This this fella right here. That's correct. But we have a. I don't know. We've just got a. You know, it's just nice that. You, I t- kind of took a I took a step back this last month, just kind of waited for things to develop and come back. And there's like five new knives that you're excited about and being able to. You know, look forward to and kind of prep your budget for. So, it's great that being a hobby where there's always things changing, always fresh knives coming out and always something yeah. to be excited 100%, 100%. about. Hundred percent. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I mean, I mean even like no... the, even like the sort of two weeks I've had off. I mean, I know I had videos coming out, but I pre scheduled those for, well before I went away. Mm-hmm. And even in the, the sort of the two weeks I've been away, there's new stuff coming out, stuff I hadn't seen before. So time to start spending money again. Yeah, and so Andy's talking more about you know the stuff they had to set aside on for seconds because uh, of the l- little river bend Skinner, the white bone on that. So yeah. apparently they're you know it's just hard to do. Yeah, it is. I, uh, what's mine like? Mine, mine's done really well. Like the there's none of the sort of the thing comes through, but white bone is just really classy on a knife. And this one has seen a lot of use, so it's not in sort of show condition it's all scratched up and beaten and you know the other great thing about white bone what's that is if you wanted to dye it you could yep correct takes well but yeah white bone's great but you know as andy said it is it does have its drawbacks which is you know it's why a lot of companies just choose to dye it because it makes sense if it's going to remove that sort of quality control problem you may have, why not? MB says the white bone looks timeless. Yep, I agree. And Andy says, I can't wait for you all to see what's coming in the reorders for rounds one and two. Oh, so you're going to change some handle materials? Maybe you should just tell us. Mm. Stop being a tease. He is a little. Just tell us, or I will badge you on Instagram every day and ask you. (laughs) Uh, Okay, Gus. We'll see you later, man. Appreciate you coming in. Uh, Yeah, Yeah. that's uh, that's exciting. Andy's Andy's confirming handle material changes. Oh yes, oh yes. Show us. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that I look forward to uh, some change ups in the handles too. Can you imagine? I would love to see another. I would love to see another Beaver Creek Barlow in something else. Would? Stag, maybe? Hmm. Can you imagine a Beaver Creek and Stag? That would be nice. That'd be One so can good. dream. One can dream. All right. So, what else have we got here? Anything? What did you get new this week? Anything other than your uh, New Zealand new, knife? New this week? No, that's the only other couple of things I've had. I've not really picked anything else up. I have got a lot of stuff incoming, but mm-hmm. nothing arrived yet. So you were kind of just planning your return, and then you've ordered so that you'd be here for it, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, here's one new one from the old. Let's bring you up. Let's have a look at that. Shepherd Hills Cutlery, I've decided on. And this is their Delrin, Jigrit White Delrin. Oh, God. Andy's teasing us. I might be able to give Sawyer a tease. Mm-hmm. Andy, mm-hmm. I-, I meant to show me the knife, not yourself. <laughs> he is an attractive sword, is he? Let's take a better look. Don't you want to tease that? <laughs> Let's see your eyes bugged out. 
All right, ready no, when I come back. I'm, no, I'm, you're not I'm, doing that today. All right. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to freak. He's going to show us a nice knife. I don't want to freak him out and scare him off. All right. Send something along. We'll put it up. You can see some blade rub there, right? But nice little sheep's foot. This is the 32 pattern. So, so oh, this medium size. What is this? What is what? You got something. All right. Throw it up here. Andy, am I allowed to show this or not? Do it proper and add it to the uh, stream so everybody can see it nice and clear, not just on your phone. I, 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 you can show these. Okay, right. John, talk amongst yourself while I make all it right, possible. All right, so anyway, just continue on with this case knife here. So this 32 pattern, and it is the three and a half inch. Really like this size for the carrying pouch I'm using right now. So that's a fantastic little sized case stockman. Here's your clip point. And it's got the, uh, what do they call that? The sparks, right? Shield with the yes. little uh, reflective things. And then, of course, your sheep's foot is not a sheep's foot. And that's why I like this particular pattern, is you have the pen blade. Oh, John, you're going to like this. All right. I'm I'm hyped, man. I think everybody's hyped. Right. I, I won't be long. I just need to do some editing. Uh-oh. Editing. All right. What else did I pick up? Oh, yeah. So I got a new Vanger. Pretty basic design. Two-layer one. Got the screwdriver on the back, so this makes this the Highlander. Which is exactly the same as the commander, but two blade or two uh, layers design. You're over there working your way through it, huh? Yep. All right. That's that nice fat spear that you get on the Vangers. All right, you ready to show that? It's uh, right. Oh, my. All right, let's take a closer look here. Um. Yes, please. Sandalwood and ye red and sandalwood and yellow. That yellow sandalwood is one I would really enjoy. Um, take so my you'll, money. you'll recall that was the... Uh, Dragon scales before, right? The correct, yeah. And now we've got wood options. Double the wood. Would you like to see the other image he sent? Oh, he sent another one. Would you like to see the other image? Well, let's let's get a thumbs up for anybody that wants one of these. Let's let's just see the reaction here. Andy. Estimated we'll arrival. We'll get some date. immediate feedback and see so how we got people... June June fourth. Okay, June 4th is the arrival date. 6 4 24. Yeah. We're getting lots of thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, are you ready for the, you know, the PS de resistance? Oh, is this going to top this out? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, there it is, the stag. So what Andy did, see, because I said this was my knife of the year at the top here. He said, eh, I can top that. Yeah. And he's, he's just like, gone, hold my beer, and then <laughs> done this. Here, have a look at this one. Is there an arrival date on that one for? Uh... There is not. There is not. I'm sure. Andy, have you got okay. a rough date for us, or is it just as and when currently? Yeah. Genuine stag. It looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. 
you won't believe if I tell you. Oh, what is it tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> or are they already here? But if they are, send me one immediately. Yeah, that's that's awesome. There's may. Patty's response. There may. Yes, Frank, there there will be a price increase. Um, Andy's not sure of the price yet, but it will go up as obviously it's genuine stag. They'll be here in May. Okay. Mid May. Mid, mid May. That's what we're looking at. So again, more to look forward to, right? More to be excited about. Fantastic. It's gonna be a great summer. Great summer. I mean that thumbs up everywhere, summer. guys. So it's, yeah, that's uh something else. Flames and flames and thumbs. Oh, and if you haven't already, maybe like the video. I can't see it, so I don't know how many we're getting right now. I've no I've no clue. But hopefully everybody's hitting the thumb. And how about a round of applause for Mr. Andy Armstrong? Top job. You've not done yourself, sir. And he's put right around eighty dollars. Is this for the the stag? Eighty for the stag or eighty for the loose end? Stag, yes, stag. eighty dollars. Wow, good. that's pretty darn good, man. That's not much more than the okay, other. Okay, so there's knife of the year. We don't have to do that end of the year. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm We're not already. Eighty dollars for halfway through the year. Gun stock. <laughs> We're gonna have another seven months past that, so you got to give him time to top um, himself again. No, that's you can't. it. Huh? You can't that's top it. that. Sorry. All right. Seven months. He can't come up with better. No. All right. But is there going to be re-releases of the uh, Beaver Creek, or are we just completely done with that? Are we moving on past that? I would like to know that, if you happen to know. Because that is another I'd like to see in, uh, in another handle material. Just pay the man. Yeah. yeah. Just keep them coming, Andy. Yeah, that's going to sell like hotcakes. Crazy. Wow. Well, thank you again for the photos, Andy. That was fantastic. Beaver Creek is coming back in Bourbon and Smoky, Smoky Gray. Smoky Gray. Okay, so we get a gray version. All right. That'd be cool. I like, I like that gray. as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, really reasonable, too. I mean, that price for the... That's pretty reasonable for something for of that quality. Well. Yeah, that's crazy. And the... The sample you had, Andy, was the stag exactly like that? I'm sure it's exactly quite like a that. Bit. That is fantastic. I, mean, oh, I know stag simple. varies, but I mean, yeah. Anybody want to get a better look at that? It's very, very close. Uh, perfect. Yeah. It seems everyone is very happy with your pricing of the, the stag, Andy. Yeah, I think everybody thinks that's a good deal. Fantastic. Well, so much to look forward to. I'm just... I'm just... I'm grinning from ear to ear because I know... The budget's going to be tight. And uh, now I've got to pretty much just limit it to... You know, <laughs> well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to set aside what I'm going to call the Rosecraft pot. <laughs> right. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah, that's that's fantastic, man. Great. Great. Stuff. All right. Would you like to do a giveaway? I think we oh, will do a giveaway. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What you got? Check your messages again. Oh, my goodness. He's got more to show. He's not done. Bring me up. Well, I'm bringing you up. Hang on. Oh, there it is. In, there it is in hand. There you go. That's nice. I'll just reply to him real quick. Jeez. 
just took that. You sexy beast. <laughs> <laughs> you sexy beast. Oh, that's oh, I was moon with that. That's excellent. I can't wait for those. Andy, let me give you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Randy, what are you thinking, Randy? Uh, for anyone that's in the Discord as well, I'll put those pictures in there so you can have a closer look. Phenomenal knife. My jaw is on the floor. Nice. Nice. Everybody's loving it. Ain't that pretty. Absolutely. Okay, so you ready to do a giveaway? I am. All right. And we'll be doing uh, two spins of the wheel today, I think. Correct. Randy, would you like to put the rules up, please? I actually have paper and a pen this week as well. Wow, you're so prepared. I know. Where are we doing first? UK first. UK first. Okay, so UK everyone first. in the UK, can you chuck you're in the UK in the chat so the US no. guys can proxy for you? And I'm going to write down a number. All right. You got your wheel pulled up. Oh, do you Americans want a Nola Chucky Jack for the giveaway? Oh, we're going to... Oh, Americans, Nola Chucky. If you want a Nola Chucky... That would be very, very excellent of you, Andrew. That would be very that. generous of you, Andy. Yes, forget the UK. <laughs> Tobacco is uh, apparently doesn't have a UK address this week. Yeah. All of a sudden, doesn't have a UK address. Weird that. Uh, yeah, that would be great, Andy. If you want to do that, I can still give mine away as well. But we can do that as a second prize. Just my way of saying thanks for you guys letting me play today. Yeah, absolutely, You're more, you're more than welcome. We, we enjoy having you on. It's always a laugh. Yeah, Kathleen's into it. She's 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 hyped for it. Okay, so the range is going to be um, 1 to 100 because that's all my brain can muster at the moment. Um, okay. Randy, if you want to chuck up a start, this is going to be for UK only. U.S. people, you can proxy for U.K. guys, but please sort of vary it out. Don't all proxy for one person. Yeah. Okay, so start. Go for it. <laughs> no one has to see my I had big to see melon. My big melon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're your proxies. Oh, man. Mikey Newman has gifted one membership. Thank you so much, Mikey. And Smiley was the recipient. So congratulations, Smiley. You got a membership to the Commando Club. Awesome stuff. And thanks to Mikey also for con contributing to the uh, the wheel. We appreciate that as well. Getting some really nice gifts for uh, the prize wheel. You said you added a bunch this week, right? I have added a bunch of stuff, yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, right, give so it another bring that seconds. up so I can put it up on the on the screen, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if I got it there. Let's remove this and so it just removes all sorts of lag. Mm hmm Present share screen. Pick a wheel. Share. Love orange and white checkered patterns and hound dogs and rocky tops. Yeah, you're the Tennessee boy. Is it a basset hound that's their mascot for the volunteers? I think it is, right? I could be wrong about that. Basset hound. No clue. Randy, chuck a stop up in there for me, please, sir. 
All right, your wheel's up. You're doing great. You got it perfectly centered. A blue tick hound. Ah, all right. I was close. Okay. So the number was 80. 80. Okay. Let's take a peek. And I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure I saw someone get very, very close. 70, 79. So we have... Tony's Ponies was 79. 79, anything closer than that? 74, 33. Tony's Ponies, 79. There you go, Tony. Congrats, buddy. Two, win two spins of the wheel. No guarantee you'll win anything, but you've won two spins, so we'll see. Spin number one. I love the lag on the wheel. Oh, is that Santa? Ah, uh, that doesn't look good. It's Santa. He pissed down your chimney. I'm sorry, Tony. Your first spin has been stolen by Santa. I yes, he did. Santa. Spin number two. There's like I said, there's no guarantees on this troll wheel. Oh, is it again? <laughs> oh, that's just me. Exactly the same one. You're not, you're not having two of those. I'm sorry. I'm spinning again. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. There we go. Oh, we, we go. Old Rams dog. Prize. We have the there prize. There we go. Fantastic. All right. There you go, Tony. Awesome. I think Rage I still quit. have Tony's address, so I don't need to have it sent. Rage quit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's an Irish in it. Yeah. Patty. 100%. Oh, God, that's funny. All right, let's add the screen. Right, Randy, let's get the U.S. rules up, please. Let's see if we can get rid of that ad down there. There we go. All right, and our range today is going to be between 800 and 900. Eight hundred and nine hundred. Again, you can proxy if you'd like. If you're in the UK, no problem with that whatsoever. And then after this, guys, stick around because we're going to be doing Andy's giveaway. So this is my giveaway, and then we'll be doing Andy's giveaway after this. You can win a Nola Chucky. You want to show them what the Nola Chucky looks like again? Do we have that picture still? Yes. Oh, we take it off already. Oh, oh no, just... it's gone. I can just show you the knife. There you go. All right, so that'll be for the next prize. Not this prize, but the next prize. There you go. Smoky Gray Bone. Now, can you imagine that in the uh, Beaver Creek, right? Because that's what you're looking at for a color. I think that would be nice. But I'm really different? digging the lamb's foot on this. It's nice to have a different sort of style blade. Where's my Beaver Creek? Uh, I'm panicking. There it is. Just so you guys know what I'm talking about. With the Beaver Creek. Right? You imagine that in gray bone. That's going to look nice. Sweet. Oh. Um, Andy's giving away the thumbnail knife. He's not giving away the... It's the one that no one has. Oh, yeah, because that's the briar. That's the briar. Okay. I wasn't even using my brain there. Yeah. Okay, so the thumbnail. 
Well, we don't have that anymore because we took it off the screen. But this is going to be the the more traditional one. Why was I thinking the briar? I mean, I'm I'm telling you, my name. I might have to enter the draw and say your. Oh, you're going to enter now, huh? Oh God! (laughs) You're going to have me ship it to you now, huh? Win it before you can buy it. Yeah. Win it before you can buy it. So this is going to be a, is this a prototype then, Andy, or is this actual production? No, they, they have them in. They have them in. Okay, production. so this is a production one. All right. All right. I got you. All right. Exclusive to the Slippy and Thrifty Show, the first ever sold or won. I guarantee you this is going to be the first ever won item from Andy's own hand Jesse McJames if I don't win we riot we riot right all right right what is your range John I said 800 to 900 I told him oh, that. okay okay I missed that all right you can throw up the stop signs now they've had their time all right so have we got the stop yet where is my man there it is okay so the number was if I can pull this stupid piece of paper out. Eight forty seven. Marco with eight forty five. Jason Beecher eight forty five. Tyler Gibson eight forty seven. Nailed it. Right on, spot on, Tyler. Just checking for any others. That is eight Tyler Gibson, eight forty seven. Okay, congrats, Tyler. You get two spins. So let's uh have a spin of the wheel here. Oh, not the noise. Mm. Sorry about that. And if you want to get that email uh address ready randy so we can show that okay so we got the frost Redbone stockman donated by randy himself thank you randy and that's number 46 if you want to make note of that for me slippy yep and then we'll go for our second spin Reloader. Okay, so you don't win anything on that spin. So we've got the Stockman for you. And you can just send your mailing address to that email on the screen. And we'll send that right out to you on Monday. Congrats again. On that one. So congrats, Tyler. That was well won. All right. So let's throw. Let's find the image there. Uh, can we put the uh, slides back up for a moment? I can. I can add them back up. All right. So you're going to be winning the the knife you see there on the thumbnail. Okay. And uh, let's throw up the rules again. And you want to pick a number this time? Sure, why not? Yeah, you pick a number. You're just going to do through 1 through 100 again? 1 through 100, yeah. Okay. I'm harsh now. That's just the wheel, man. The wheel does what the wheel does. Okay, the I have a number ready. Brutal. Okay. So the USA address is on this one only, guys. But you may proxy for a USA person if you'd like. Man, people are keen for this. 
Oh yeah, I'm going nuts. Going nuts. Thanks again to Andy for coming in uh, and also being so generous with the giveaway. It's fantastic. So this knife is not even available for sale yet, so that's awesome. Nola Chucky. Yeah, I apologize for that. I was thinking, I don't know why, I was thinking the uh, Briar Patch, just because it was the one for sale already. I guess I was what was programmed in my brain. Um, you know how to tease me with the thumbnail. <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah. That is a nice looking knife, my friend. Okay, another 20 seconds, Randy, and we'll call it. Oh, yeah, okay. There we we go. got you guys. Okay. So, the number I picked, and there's someone that's only one off. Okay. 13. 13. Lucky number 13. And I'm pretty sure someone got 12. So, we have an 11, 17, I see 21. an 11. Leafy Wiggy, 12 for Kathleen. 12 for Kathleen. That is the closest. There it is. Congratulations, it. Kathleen. Verified. Congrats to Kathleen. All right. So what I'll do is I'm pretty sure I've got Kathleen's address is I'll, uh, I will IG you that, Andy the address okay does that sound cool and uh pretty sure i've already got that you can send it again kathleen just to make sure to the you throw that email address up there again there we go get it up there for you i know i've sent something to her so if i, I it might take me some time to find it if she doesn't send it again but yeah he says as well if you give it if you give him her email address as well she'll get tracking for it Okay, I'll do both. So if you don't mind, Kathleen, I'm going to provide Andy your email address if you don't care. Just makes it a little simpler that way. But awesome, awesome stuff. Fantastic show today, guys. Turned out to be more than I ever expected. But uh hope everybody enjoyed the kind of the preview of all the stuff coming out. We had a fantastic yeah, Kathleen rediscovering said she's gonna, it. She's gonna sorry, she's gonna email you and she hasn't got a problem sharing her email address. That's fine. Okay. Fantastic. Perfect. But we're gonna we're gonna have another show next week that'll be a little more uh involved. Obviously with Slippy being gone, we had to be a little more basic this week. And uh again, thanks to, to Andy. Uh he says it's been a blast. We had a blast with you too, buddy. And uh he says uh I still, whoop, I was going to bring that up. You brought, <laughs> we both closed it out. There we go. And I still didn't mention the massive surprise for Blade Atlanta. So he's got more in store for us. So we look forward to that. When is Blade Atlanta? Do you know the date on that? I have no clue. Let's let's see if I can do a quick search. Anybody Randy's just, just to said, know? keep using RCBs on the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, right. That's 100%. Blade Show Atlanta. First weekend, first weekend of June. First of June. Okay. First weekend of June. So June 7th and 9th is what it's saying here. So we can look forward to yeah. that in a couple of months. And, uh, yeah, just a lot of great stuff coming from Rosecraft. Um, looking forward to the uh, Buck 110 release there and also that Rough Rider. So, yeah, all of those things are fantastic. You have any uh, final thoughts, sir? Nothing for me. Just appreciate Andy coming in and having a laugh with us. Everyone that joined. Well, I'm it's just glad a, to have you time. back. Uh, yeah, it's, your... it's, it's nice to be back. 
Yep. And you guys can look forward to more content this week because uh, I just had to take a break away. I had a lot of things coming up for myself personally, and uh, so I had to step away for from uh, social for a little bit. But I should be getting back into the groove of things by the end of the month. And you can expect a lot more reviews. And uh, Andy says, yes, thank you for putting up with me. No problem at all, sir. We really appreciate it. Uh, is it ever going to be a Slippy and KT and Bl Judd show? I mean, we'll bring Judd on. He's not going to be a full-time host or anything like that. Well, he's not a full-size human, so he can't be a full-size Well, that's host. right. So he's about one-third his height of the rest of us, so he'll be on about one-third of the time. So <laughs> Kathleen has just sent uh, the email. So thank you, uh, Kathleen. I'll get that information over to Andy, and we should be good to go. I'm going to double check just really quick to see if Tyler sent me uh, his email. I uh, haven't gotten one from uh, Tyler yet. So, Tyler, you'll still need to send that over so that I can get uh, your mailing address, sir. And uh, hopefully I can get that out by Monday if you get the mailing address over to me. But I appreciate everybody coming. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys next week. We'll have a little more of a show prepared. Don't know exactly what the topic will be, but Slippy no will be back with me. And we'll see you guys next week. Take care.